Now from the top, make it drop That's some wet ass pussy Now get a bucket in her mouth That's some wet ass pussy I'm talking wop, wop, wop That's some wet ass pussy Macaroni in a pot That's some wet ass pussy, huh Hey Flops, my name is Claire. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about trans stuff, where I give tips and help you transition if you need help. Today's video is called What I Wish I Knew Before Transitioning. Basically, being trans 101, being trans for dummies, whatever you name it. When I transitioned, because let's be honest, it went as smooth as fishing an earring out of your asshole. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay. James. I could have used some help, you know? I could have used a little guiding. A little video where someone talks about the trans stuff where I don't have to, like, be in the conversation, you know? Because reaching out, getting information firsthand from trans people or support groups or whatever, that is scary. And maybe you're too hashtag shy and you don't want to do that. Maybe you want someone to just tell you stuff and then you can, like, make up your mind or something. So in the beginning, I was kind of like, uh, before I transitioned, I was questioning my gender. I was like, hmm... <laughs> Am I trans even? Like, what's going on? I was going on and off with it. I, it took me months to figure out if I wanted to start the hormones. And then I said, you know what? I can't make up my mind. I'm indecisive as fuck with everything. Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna start the hormones. And then if I hate it, I can just stop. And that's kind of my sentiment with it. Because like, I feel like the hormones really don't do shit. Like in the beginning, you really need the levels to gradually build up. And then your body can, like, take take the hormone levels and, like, put, uh, produce shit, you know? Yeah, it's not like you press a button and then you, like, get mommy milkers to choke your boyfriend out with. It doesn't work like that. I wish, though. So I'd say, like, I don't know, it's kind of a hot take, but everyone who questions their gender is probably trans. Let's face it. This, this is a slippery slope. One day you're like, do these earrings look cute on me? And then the next you've got an appointment to get a clit or something. So yeah, then I got my appointments, therapy, whatever. I talked to trans people on the forums. I was getting information firsthand, which you should do. You should do. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing in the beginning, just talk to people directly, okay? You need to get the information from the freshest fucking source, especially with the hormones, okay? This is something that everyone should know before transitioning. You need to do your own research, know about the hormones. You need to fucking be your own doctor. You can't just believe that everything your doctor will tell you is true. Because I constantly see people on Reddit who ask, oh, is this dosage that I'm getting, uh, like, appropriate? Is this normal that I'm getting this dosage? And I'm, like, reading this, and they're getting prescribed, like, 50 milligrams of Cypro a day. And I'm like, okay, let me just mail you my favorite funeral home. Death! 50 milligrams. This is like something that I've read uh, numerous times. I get 5 milligrams a day, by the way. They get 10 times the amount. Their hormone testosterone levels are kind of like at zero, bitch. Doesn't matter if you're a woman, a man, fucking dog, or a dishwasher. You need hormone levels for testosterone, even when you're a woman, that are like at least like somewhere. So here we can see uh, that the average uh, testosterone levels for a man are 300 nanograms per deciliter, at least, at least. So this is considered like on the low side. And for women, the average range from 15 to 70 nanograms per deciliter, so significantly less. But there's still something... And this is dangerous. You should like kind of know the meds and the prescription dosages. You should already kind of know what is the norm before you get your prescription and not like after and then question it. Because like when you get to your appointment and you already know stuff, you have a little bullshit meter for when the doctor talks dumb shit and like kind of is about to fucking ruin your health. So definitely a thing to take away that you should know before you start transitioning is that you need to be your own doctor and do your own fucking research. And I feel like most people don't even think about that because they think, oh, the doctor's now. The doctor's now? But to be honest, most doctors, they, they don't teach this in med school. This is just like an addition. This is a relatively new thing that came up. So like most doctors don't know what the fuck they're doing. I even had my own doctor tell me that I probably know more about hor hormone replacement therapy than he does. And I was like, um, it's a compliment somewhere for sure. But like, I don't know if this is good. You know, I, I don't know. 
Also, another thing that you should probably know before you transition is that not everyone will love it. Everyone thinks, oh, I transition, I get boobs, and then life will be great. But social transition, medical transition, whatever, there is so much that goes into it. And HRT will not just fix your life by the click of a button because HRT is not magic. Like, if you want to pass, which, by the way, shouldn't be the goal, you need to do hair, makeup, you need to get into clothes, see what, like, cis people of the gender you want to be, like, are what they are wearing. So you can, like, kind of learn how to blend in if you want to pass. Of course, it shouldn't be the goal, but, like, sometimes passing is just being fucking safe. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not shaming on people who don't pass or who don't want to pass and who want to be visibly queer, but to be honest, I feel unsafe. Always. Also, I like to be cute and do t stereotypical female stuff because I guess I'm I'm a dumb little bimbo like that. So yeah, the hormones will not just fix your life, make you be accepted by everyone. There will be people in your life who are um, in your family, who are in your friendship circle or are in your relationship who like cannot accept it and like you can explain it to people but you cannot understand it for them you know some people are inherently dumb and either they learn or they don't but you shouldn't stick around and have to wait for that to be honest let the trash take itself out i am tired i'm really tired of like people trying to be like the the rock on my balloon it's it's fat it's fat death i even had my aunt like tell me oh you should like kind of be more patient with your mother she like doesn't get it or some shit like that and i'm like um is she going through this or is this like a thing that is like my thing is she the victim now is that not that there's a victim but like this is the thing that i'm doing and if you like have something against it you can go cry in a corner i don't give a fuck i'm not here sitting around waiting for anyone to like suddenly love me again it's sometimes they don't and you can like love yourself and it's fine i don't know I know, I'm kind of like in a rambly mood today and everything is like not structured, but there, there's just shit that I want to talk about and it's like awful with people, okay? Just like, no one will prepare you and transitioning is messy in some of my videos. Another thing that I see sometimes where I just get like whiplash where people ask, am I too old? Am I too fat? Am I too ugly to transition? And every time I say, yes, dumb fucking bitch, I'm gonna fuck you. No. There's people who are fat, ugly, and unattractive and old. And by posting shit like this, where, for example, you're like, am I too old to transition? You are implying that you can be too old to transition in the first place. And then there's like some 50-year-old trans person reading this and they're like, well, fuck me, I guess. Every time I see the battle in the comments, this is something that happens so fucking often. And I'm just reading through it and I'm like, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. Like, everyone should just do what makes them happy. And if you want to transition, you shouldn't think, oh, I'm fat. I guess it's over. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. It's just gonna wait around for death or until you become spontaneously skinny just so you can transition. Like, no. The one thing that people should, like, kind of take away from this is if you want to transition, fucking do it now. I don't know why there is a question about this. You can anytime, this is not a lifelong commitment, you can anytime just say, oh, I, I don't want to do it anymore. I I don't know if this is, like, right for me. And then you leave. So you're like, what the fuck is anyone going to do about that? Like, who gives a fuck, you know? <sighs> By the way, I gotta take my estrogen. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, estrogen. Wait, you can't see nothing. <laughs> also, every time I pull out this gel, I feel like, I don't know, do they even do this in America? Do they have to gel? Because, like, I feel like people will see this and they're like what the fuck is this bitch with the body lotion and the olive oil on her pussy skin like it's just it's just my estrogen i didn't choose the application method my doctors did jesus also this has the least thrombosis risk so like i have to do it like this remind ya i'm kinda what yeah, I don't know, it's like kind of it, but like the main things that you should like know before you transition is that people will be offended, people will drop you, people will be awful to you, but to be honest, fuck everyone. Ugh. Do you think I slayed harder before I transitioned? I think the fuck not. Me without tits, girl, I would have killed myself. I wouldn't be here today. People feel like transitioning is optional, but like if you want to be trans, Bitch, sooner or later, the slippery slope will get you, okay? You're gonna get, you're gonna get that slippery pussy, whether you like it or not. 
And the road isn't always gonna be easy, but you can subscribe to me and my tips are like more valuable than gold or a vegetile. So yeah, my name is Claire and I will be here for you every other week with tips, with advice. And if you have any questions, call us, email us, or just come to New Orleans. We're the home and a family waiting for you.